welterweight championship fight for the IBF world belt. Again, Jones could become the man in this division as Pacquiao and Mayweather either move up, move out, move on, or maybe fight each other. Hey, I guess that could happen too. Jones, 29 years old, a full five foot 11, a big welterweight, weighing in at 146 and a half pounds, has reached two inches longer than Randall Bailey. Bailey at five foot nine, 146. You know, I always think of Bailey as being tall, lanky, but he's done most of his fighting at 140 pounds. He moves up a little bit, because that's a tall welterweight, Mike That Jones. is a tall welterweight. We've seen a couple of them earlier on, too. The kid Diaz was a very tall welterweight as well. These two guys, I think, are tailor-made for each other. They should provide for a great fight. Okay, gentlemen, you both received your instructions in your dressing room. Okay, look, right here is good. Anything below that's low. Right here is good. Anything below that's low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. Tony Weeks is the referee tonight. This for the vacant IBF welterweight belt. 12 rounds, at least that's what it's scheduled for. Randall Bailey, again, heavy hands. One of the best knockout punchers in the sport, pound for pound. Let's go. Past his prime, but he's got the heavy hands. Mike Jones has worked his whole life for this moment. Again, the steady advancement up to make this challenge for his first world championship fight. Here we go. As Bailey imposes will. Try to let it all out. He seems pretty calculated in his approach. Now, I wonder, Mario, how Bailey will make this tactically if he's going to think if there's the best chance to get at Jones, it's early and with something he doesn't see and then from which he cannot recover. That, to me, seems like his best chance. Well, that's why I was I was sort of intimating that he would start off a little a little more aggressively, but. Uh, clearly, he has another game plan. <laughs> well, yeah, Jones, uh, look, he's a complete fighter. That means you cannot just walk in on him. He, that jab is not going to let you get in his space. No, they're, I mean, big welterweights. Both of these guys are big welterweights, yep. and Jones in particular, big welterweights. Hasn't thrown a jab. First punch is that big left hook, but not utilizing that jab yet. Bailey takes a good, long, slow look. You see the jab is just lingering down there, and the right hand is cocked and ready. That's the, that's the power shot. Jones is circling to his right, away from the power right hand. Yes. Ooh, you see, there it was. There's the first long right hand, and even on a whiff, you can, you you can, can hear it. You can feel it, yeah. <laughs> it well, it kind of whistled, didn't it? It, it did. <laughs> if I'm Randall Bailey, I'm throwing it to the body, I'm throwing it to the head. And I'm I'm going out a little more actively. I think it's I think it's going to behoove me. <laughs> nice snapping jab from Bailey. Got to give him credit for that. It was landed good scoring shot. That could change the fight certainly if he could land that on a regular basis. Jones was surprised by it. He went after him there, and Jones had jumped in by the time Bailey was going to uncork that right hand. Just if you want to watch something, I would say watch that right shoulder of Randall Bailey. That's the shot that's going to come firing off that will make a difference. Yeah, he, he shoots that out of there really quick. And <laughs> you can see how it's done all the damage it has over the years. Jones with his hands high. Look, he is defensively responsible. Jones showing him a lot of respect. No question. Bailey again is 37, so he's got to think of his energy level. He's got to have that uh, flame on low, and that hook landed touching the face of Bale. He didn't do a lot of damage, but it caught him. <laughs> Tried to unload with a big right hand, did Bailey, and he missed. Yeah, that was a counter shot, and that's usually where Bailey has a lot of his success. Look, Jones, I think you're right, Mario, he is wary, I use another word, wary of the right hand, right. and he's gonna, he's gonna take his time. He's got 12 rounds to make this happen, and he's not worried about particularly winning this round right here. Clearly a feeling out round. A lot of respect for Randall for Randall Bailey. Never quite heard it say that way, stay off the line. Right. Meaning if you back straight up, the train is coming down the tracks. You back straight up, you're going to get run over. And that's exactly what he meant by it. And he also told him to use his jab. Jones didn't use any jabs and kept him at a distance. He was sort of letting Bailey uh, uh, gain some confidence and, and time him and come right to him. 
There he goes, mm. lunging in with big left hooks and not jabbing the way his trainer instructed. Now, he, this is not a type of fight he wants to get into this early on with a Randall Bailey. Right. In that firefight, you could easily lose with one shot that Bailey throws you. You see the right hand. It's vicious. Stop, 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 stop. Let him Give let Jones him this, though. He came out. There's a lot more aggression in the opening seconds. Mm -hmm. And I, I think, uh, just as Vaughn Jackson was saying, if the work rate sometimes can take care of a lot of the problems that are in a ring with a particular opponent. If you're throwing jabs, if you're busy, and you're complete, and look, Jones is, a lot of that you can take care of things. As people start to boo, inexplicably, I'm a little early for that, I think. Right. <laughs> it's a little early. Uh, they just saw Guillermo Rigondeau, I guess, you know, Polak somebody, and <laughs> they want more blood. We've been very spoiled so far, and I believe there's a thumb in the eye or somewhat, or maybe possible head bite. Bailey took a long look and looked for blood on his own glove as he swiped the left side of his face. Surprisingly, Jones completely ignoring the instruction of his corner by not jowing. Yeah, we're told now that was a, a, a head butt. That was the heads coming together, and he just wanted to make sure Jones did that he wasn't cut. You're right. I, I haven't seen that, and, I, and I'm wondering why. Well, not one solid jab, Brian. Not one. I've been looking. It's sort of pawing and throwing a lot of left hooks. There's and one. Looping left hooks. Yeah but not sticking a straight long jab, which he normally does, and it's a big part of his repertoire. And again, if you're a guy who is a boxer, and he's a true boxer, and he has the amateur pedigree, the, the first things you learn, you get off first, throw the jab. It takes yes. care of a lot of problems. It takes care of a lot of problems. You can set everything else up off of, set everything else up off of that. And none of the fighters have really gone to the body either, and both corners are asking him to do so. As you can hear, John David Jackson in the corner. You made a good point, Mario, when you said it's Brian Kenny and Mario Lopez here, ringside MGM Grand Garden Arena, Pacquiao Bradley, the main event. This is Mike Jones, Randall Bailey. The point you made was this is not the fight that Jones would want. And you're right, this is almost like we're going to stand back, but then we're going to engage in something vicious and then stand back. Right. And that is exactly the fight Randall Bailey will be good for. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure if, if Mike Jones is. is Showing him a little too much respect and hoping to take him into the middle round and maybe impose his will a little bit more, but his trainer can't be too happy, which we'll see if they make it out in the next 23 seconds. Sort of pawing that jab, not really sticking it out. There is good length from Bailey, and maybe that's bothering him. You know, that jab does get out there. Again, he's 5'9", and he's two inches shorter as Jones is on the attack now, but ineffectively. Maybe the length of Bailey, the experience, of course, is 37 years old. That seems to be keeping him at bay. Hmm. Round two, and now we start to think, okay, so he has not been able to get off and get off first. Let's see if he changed that. He comes out aggressively now. And let's see if things change. Round number three. Again, we've got this stop, fight. Stop, then we've stop, got Jorge stop. Arce versus Jesus Rojas. Featherweight clash against, again, the popular Jorge Arce, one of the most exciting fighters. There's a big right hand from Jones. And then we have the main event, Pacquiao and Bradley. Now Jones seems to be waking up a little bit, and that's what he's got to do is let his hands go. Jones winging, throwing some hard shots. Good power shots there for Mike Jones as he opened up with a good three or four punch combination. By the way, he's throwing them very viciously. There's this real intent. As they say, I have the Tyson era still ingrained in right, me, Mario. Bad intentions. That's right, bad intent. Murderous intent. <laughs> Throw some bad intentions out there, and he did have it. Of course, you also have to be able to launch. You, you can't just have the weapons. You've got to be able to launch. And you have to be able to, yes, you have to be able to set it up, and he's, he's doing it in, in, in spurts and random spurts, too. There's no sort of game plan or setting him up. The jab is still absent. Bailey tries one to the body, and he lands right, right at the belt. Good double jab there by Jones, and now that's good work. First, comp, first good combination we've seen from him. Mike Jones. Yeah, you'd almost want to see Jones go back to, hey, think like an amateur now. Go back right. to your amateur days and just go out and jab. Jab this guy. You've been, you're in the ring a lot at the wild card yes. gym, right? Sometimes they'll say, go in and jab. It, especially, jab. Especially with a banger. You want to set him up with jab. You want to keep his timing off. You want to keep him off of his rhythm. Keep him back on his heels because what you don't want to do is what he's doing, letting him get his timing, letting him come forward and start winning away. I, I mean, I'm not really understanding his certain game plan. He'll have little spurts of action, but they haven't really been too effective. And it's almost like when you're watching a Bernard Hopkins fight. Again, Randall Bailey, look, he's nowhere near Hopkins. He's only 37. He's a spring chicken compared to Bernard Hopkins. But Hopkins became a master at conserving the energy. Uh, you don't want to fight. If you're Mike Jones, you don't want this fight. It's good body work there by Jones. You don't want this fight being fought in second gear. Oh, exactly. good right hand by Bailey that time. I think the glove probably blocked a good part of that. 
And you can hear the thudding shot. That was a beautiful counter right shot, which has hurt many opponents. And, and maybe that's what's keeping Mike Jones so reluctant, is that right hand. But he is a champion. He is undefeated. He's got to have a little more faith in himself to let his hands go. One thing he can't do, he can't go straight back. He also there, when he went along the ropes there just for a second, Mario, he was laying on the right. The very worst thing you can do with a guy who can nail you with a big right hand. You sit there and you think you're safe. You're not safe. In one of the sports, Mike Jones did some nice body work, but not doing anything to set it up. Still abandoning the job. Would love to see him go back to that. Randall Bailey doing a nice job yeah, with the You know what? I was just I was just about to say that, Mario. While we're talking about what Mike Jones is not doing, because he is so good. Look, he's not 26-0 from nothing. Let's give credit to Randall Bailey. He's not Bailey. exerting a lot of energy. He's keeping it at his pace. And if they continue like this, Brian, we, we, we may see an upset. No question. Round four here at the MGM Grand. I heard a lot of leather land on that shot, but I wondered. I was blocked by it. I didn't know if Jones had blocked that shot with his glove. There's a good right hand by Jones, but actually the replay showed he caught that flush. He caught him flush. He actually uh, took that pretty well, too. Good whiskers. Uh, we could be getting into a nice firefight here very soon. Bailey is the guy with the power. He peers in, but Jones has started to throw some meaningful shots. And when Jones does throw, he does seem to have some, have his own level of pop and be able to hurt Bailey as well, who's been down quite a few times before. And now you see Bailey coming in a little more defensively responsible. Look at the way he's tucked in, Mayweather-esque, right? Yes. <laughs> coming in sideways, got that elbow and shoulder defending his body. Well, you mentioned Bernard Hopkins earlier, too, and I think it's a very good comparison as far as the way, it, the pace that he's fighting defensively, sort of playing with that jab and being smart with it, efficient with his, with his uh, punches. One or two. The one, you know, offensive weapon that Bernard Hopkins you know, future Hall of Famer has was that counter right hand. Yes. But even he didn't have the type of destructive power, pound for pound at least, that Bailey has. No. Excellent. And, uh, Bernard Hopkins, of course, uh, amazing defensively as well. Randall Bailey, still uh, something to be desired in that area. But Mike Jones, I'm, ju I'm, I'm just a little confused as to his approach or the game plan of the fight. Because the lunging with the big fight, I've never really seen him fight like this before, and especially just choosing to do it against this type of opponent. Like you said earlier, Brian, a lot of jabs, the higher activity rate, just to out-hustle this guy who's older than him would have been the proper approach. I'm curious what the corner's gonna tell him in between rounds. We're watching Mike Jones take on Randall Bailey for the IBF welterweight belt. And Jones, again, could be at least seen by many as the heir apparent to the welterweight division, someone who is complete with a good steady foundation but I, right now I think what we're seeing is a lack of identity from Jones. I think you led me in that direction Mario. He really hasn't shown himself to be the boxer or the puncher here. Lack of identity, I think a lack of confidence. I, I don't, I'm just, this is, a, this is a Mike Jones that I haven't seen really before. And that was a nice combination but a little off balance, a little sloppy. Randall Bailey has yet to get rattled in this fight. He caught one there. He caught one there in the middle of the three-punch combination as Bailey backs him up. And that's one thing that they didn't want to have happen. You know, don't let him have that line. There. Jones's corner is back here. They're screaming, we need a hook. They haven't seen that yet. Not much of it anyway. Final seconds, round four. Randall Bailey wades in. I honestly, as I'm calling this fight, look, I've often said, Mario, when you're calling a fight or even in your position as the analyst, John David Jackson telling Randall Bailey, and this is inspirational, this is your title, you deserve it. He was very emotional. And then he said, they're going to rob you if you let it go the distance. Now look, that's what you have to say. I don't expect him to get robbed, but right, he might not be winning these rounds where we're giving him credit because he's the underdog, he's 37. Right. I think John da David Jackson is exactly on point. This is yours for the taking, but you, you're going to have to do more than you think. And I always like trainers who undersell what's going on as opposed to oversell and, and give them confidence. It's, 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 it's always better to leave them going in there a little hungry. And they're talking about the instruction in the, other cor in the other corner, Mike Jones, they were pleading with him to relax. And that's what I really think he does need to do. Relax, settle down a little bit. But in the first four rounds, he hasn't been showing any signs of that. No, he has been tight. This again is a big moment. We're gonna be talking about this later in the night with Timothy Bradley, where yes, he's been in big fights, fights we call showdowns, but has he been in a mega event? No, he has not.
Pacquiao does this every time out. And we're going to see. It's probably tight. And that was a big right hand that I'm not sure partially landed or was landed on the shoulder, considering the angle which we saw it. But Mike Jones not doing anything to keep Randall Bailey off of him. As far as the jabs are concerned, utilizing combinations and spurts here and there. That height advantage, that reach advantage, he's not taking advantage of it. And now Bailey is on the move, moving forward. Something we hear all the time here in Las Vegas. What do the judges like? They like aggression. They like the fighter who is moving forward. Look, we all know when you go into a fight, who's the made guy, who's the opponent? Bailey is the opponent. And yet, I don't know how these rounds are going to be scored. These could be very close. Well, Bailey looks a lot more relaxed, a lot more composed. He's been letting that right hand fly, and I thought it may have landed, but oh. the last two did not land. There's some good body work wow, there. Good hook. Jones. He tripled up on the hook that time, landed to the body in the head. That was hard, painful stuff. That is part of the repertoire we have not seen tonight so far. We were talking earlier that it's almost not enough just to win, but to look good doing it and be impressive. And Mike Jones has his hands full with just the first part. A little stepping and tripping of the feet there. Not a knockdown, obviously. Tony Weeks saw that correctly from the outset. Again, just a, looked like kind of a shoulder butt to me where he put him down. Maybe crossed up the feet as well, so no knockdown here. Final 30 seconds of round five. Scheduled for 12, and this will be interesting. Again, this is for one of the welterweight title belts. One man is going to be in a good position, in a leveraged position to negotiate, to look for other big fights, and to win a world title belt in his own right. Is it for the taking for Randall Bailey? So far, an outstanding performance by the 37-year-old. Yes, doing an excellent job. Jones is a little busier, but was it busy enough, I don't know, to win the round. We'll try to listen in again, because I really like what we've heard so far in both corners. We'll try to listen in. How you feel? You ready to be a world champion? Then go take it from me. Stay mobile up top. When you get tied up, work that inside. He's a busy fighter. It's your time, son. It's your time. You got to get it. You got to want it. You gotta go. Here are the hooks. This was impressive, Mario. Yeah, beautiful combination by Mike Jones when he decides to let him go. Here's a look at it. And there was a tripping of the, the feet right there. I, I think it's coming up right here. Seconds out. Well, we didn't get to see it, but there was definitely a tripping of the feet. It wasn't let's caused go, by go. a blow. And the tripling up of the hooks by Mike Jones, that was the best part of that round. And again, that might win a round for you. You heard in the corner, Vaughn Jackson now getting emotional with Mike Jones and saying, are you ready to be a world champion? Again, I will say, all right, this is for one of the belts at welterweight. Good shot there by Bailey, good hook. This means this is a world championship to these fighters. Yes, and that was the most productive I've seen from Mike Jones was that last round where the halfway point, maybe he now starts to turn the tide and up his activity level a little bit. Good jab to the body by Mike Jones. Jones in black, Bailey in the red trunks. Bailey stop, stop, just stop. joining us. One of the better punchers pound for pound in the entire sport. Has a vicious lethal right hand as he fires in a hook. But he is 37, he's past his prime. Mike Jones was expected by most here tonight to take a welterweight belt home and become a real player in this division. Good jab by Bailey. Bailey's been throwing wow. some nice stiff jabs when they land and he's been, he's been more effective with the jab and you would assume Mike Jones which is usually his expertise has not been uh, has not been that as effective with him. That was a stick, you that know. Was stick. That was like you know I don't, I'll just throw out what I think of when I see a stick like that. Pernell Whitaker, who would walk you right into it, and you almost walk into that jab, right. and he uses his body, you know, as leverage behind it. It was just like a pole you walk into. Right, a Larry Holmes type jab, yeah. almost. <laughs> They're just, and again, we're talking about Randall Bailey, where that is not a normal part of the, the arsenal. <laughs> we don't go in and say, no, we're going to see a jabbing fest here. No, that's not his thing. But he's been doing a good job to keep him at a distance, to try to set up that right hand. He himself, I think, should be a little bit more active as well. But Mike Jones, really, I thought, should take initiative. And that might, is there a little blood coming from the nose of Jones, perhaps, from the result of that stiff jab? I haven't seen yet. See as he circles around the other way. 
we've seen so far ineffective aggression this round by Jones as he steps in again, kind of a lead right hand. But there is a, kind of an awkward sense of him coming in. He cannot, you know, reestablish that once he throws his last punch. He's not jabbing his way in with head movement, touching the body. He's sort of leaping in with these odd combinations, sometimes landing, sometimes not. Doesn't really seem to be an effective game plan. Final minute of round six, and again, I, I thought as early as round two, start scoring this fight. Start thinking of who you think is winning these rounds. For everybody at home that you know might just like boxing and not love it, if, if you want to really have a feel for the fight, you need to score rounds. Don't at the end say, I think this guy won. Well, how did you score it? I tell that to fans all the time. Right. How did you score it? Oh, well, I didn't score it. Well, then you don't know. You need to score it. And this is a fight right now. Again, I'm not scoring it. I don't know. I think these rounds are very close. I, you're exactly right. I agree with you 100%. This is one of the, and then the way the judges can look at it, do you, do you like the aggressor? Do you like the flurries by Jones? Do you like the harder, crisper punches by Randall Bailey? That was a nice right hand that landed by Bailey. I kind of like the, with that said, and the fact that he's faced with a couple of those right hands, I'd like to see him be able to settle on his punches a little bit more. You know what he hasn't done as we get into round seven here? Brian Kenny, Mario Lopez here. We hope you're enjoying the fights from Las Vegas. He has not been in the pocket. He's not. That's an excellent point. And I was just going to say that because the one thing about Bailey, too, he's a he's a one-two puncher, meaning just a one-punch combination. And, and uh, Mike Jones throws crisp, fluid combinations. And if he was in the pocket, work on the body a little bit more, I think it would bode well for him. What we mean by that, when you get in the pocket, sit down on your punches, be balanced, and when you throw the two, three punches in a row, you can immediately move your head and fire three more. Jones is never in that position. His feet are never in that position to refire a combination. They're not, and he's fast enough to pull it off if he were to execute that sort of game plan. Stop, stop. We are seeing meaningful shots being thrown, so at any moment, this fight can change. It will, if it does go to the scorecards, the judges are Jack Reese from California, Ricardo Ocasio, and Dave Moretti, veteran judge here in Las Vegas. People are starting to boo, yes. and I don't know what they want, really. I, I have to say that I, I'm disappointed in that. I think uh, if you're an educated fight fan, this is an interesting fight. It is an interesting fight. I think they got spoiled by some of the undercard, fight, undercard fights. Even before uh, Riendau, we had a couple knockouts. There's been a lot of fireworks so far. I think the potential is there in this fight for it. But I think, oh, who knows? Maybe they are educated fight fans, and they know they're looking at the knockout king. And they want to see Bailey drill this guy. Well, we didn't go into this fight expecting that. We expected Mike Jones to become a world titleist. You're going to take the bold step of tattooing your arm with KO King, and you got to <laughs> let that right hand go. Excellent point. Good body shot there by Bailey. Bailey again throwing one, two punches at a time at the stop, most. Stop, 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 stop. And Jones is walking in without jabbing, awkwardly trying to get some movement. Good jab there, nice little combination. Not much landing past the gloves, but good work. Yes, Jones a little busier this round. Yeah. You get the feeling too, again from a judging standpoint, if Jones is moving forward and doing the work, his work rate is there, he could easily get this decision. You know, I, I think John Hansley, David Jackson uh, is rightly worried about not getting a decision here, but not because of anything squirrely or corrupt, no, no, just because of the way the fight is, is could unfold. You're, you're exactly right. And, you know, as, as effective those right hands have been when he does decide to throw them, he's throwing them few and far between. Bailey would need to really, like, up his activity level if he wants to win by decision. I don't think those are his intentions, though. He's, he's plotting to try to knock this kid out. You can see Randall Bailey. Again, the flame is on a low burn right now. He is not going to expend more energy than he has to, but he's waiting for something where he can unload a right hand. Interesting fight. He needs to do something drastic. Look, I think that's that's the good, that's the right mentality. Right. I don't believe that, and maybe John David Jackson doesn't believe that right. either. But that's the right mentality, knowing that, look, you need to put this guy down. And then if he does say, let's say he puts him down or wobbles Jones, then I think even judges will view the fight differently. You're, you're, you're exactly right, because then all of a sudden the game plan looks like it came together and he executed it and it makes sense. So yeah, perception is a lot, especially if you can hurt your opponent, because that's what this game is all about. Ultimately, the objective is to hurt your opponent. <laughs> and there, with three straight jabs, you can see Bailey had no offense to come back with. The, the and, jab alone and a nice sharp jab off the face. And that's the glimpse, and that's what I've been talking about all night, which has been absent. 
when he does decide to throw his jabs, he was effective and he landed it. It's just few and far between. When Bailey is on defense, he can't be on offense. And that's what you need. And he threw three out there. Look, two were pawing little jabs, but at the same time, Bailey is bothered by them. Yeah, and he kept him at bay, and now it's no longer. It's the lulls in between. And you allow him to set up to time that right hand. Wild stop, hook stop, over stop, the top stop, after stop, stop. Jones threw an uppercut. Maybe Jones is relaxing a little bit already. I've seen an uppercut on the inside that I hadn't seen. That wild hook and the triple jab. Maybe he's relaxing a little bit as we get into round eight. Good jab by Bailey as he tries to work in. Again, that's a, it's just a stick. It comes out with no effort. And Jones has trouble detecting it because he doesn't wind up on it. Right. Doesn't load up. It's stiff. It's hard. It comes right out. Doesn't double up, but when he lands it, it's pretty effective. I think at a certain point, too, and then Bailey tried the right hand, you're going to have to see Bailey also put his foot on the accelerator. Good jab by Jones again, landing. This is the best round that I've, I've seen so yeah. far from Mike Jones. Effective with the jab. Bailey returns fire straight up the middle. Bailey throws his right hand. He reminds me of Vince Phillips, the way he used to throw mm. it. Cool Vince. Cool Vince, who had, a, who had a great right hand. Sort of shoots it out, comes out like a laser. Another good jab by Jones. And then we've seen, oh, another jab. We've seen more jabs landing to the head of Bailey in this round as Jones now is starting to pound away than we've seen in the all the other rounds put together. You're right, but maybe now he's gotten to his groove. Maybe now he's recognized, okay, I can hit this guy. Look at how effective. Another jab after he doubled up on the jab. Very different fight now. And I believe it could have been he could have been uh, this effective from the beginning because it's not like Bailey's is very mobile with his header. He's got a lot of head movement. It's registered with Mike Jones now. Turning point in this fight, round eight. Mike Jones, work rate alone, landing with the jab, landing another jab, now goes to the body. Look, I, I don't have any trouble scoring this round. Exactly. Neither will the judges. Another Beautiful stiff jab, jab, doubling up on the jab. A little swelling now on the face of Randall Bailey. Outstanding round by Mike Jones. To see. I, I think the joy of watching Manny Pacquiao is the happy warrior. He gets it. He's not snarling at the press conference, but he's going to war in the ring. Right. Randall Bailey answering back with a hook as we enter round nine. Round eight, all Mike Jones as we saw a completely different fighter. Now, Mike Jones really impressed me the last round, and that's exactly what I thought we were going to be seeing from him. And he started again with the, start, with the stiff jab. Bailey answering it, but if Mike Jones sticks to what worked in that last round, he could make it uh, a very productive, easier night for him. And at a certain point, you have to start thinking of the rounds. How are they building up? How many do you have in the bank? I don't know how many Randall Bailey did put in the bank early on, even though he was much more effective than we thought he would be. You can see Bailey is on the wane slightly. That energy level is going down. Jones can beat him down if he keeps up this work rate. Another good jab. Doubling up on the jab, too. Being very effective. And you're right, he, Bailey is 37 years old. And Mike Jones, much younger guy. Those legs are going to be a lot more fresh. Hands free, hands free. Hands free. And Jones has been moving a lot. He's been moving around a lot, been very, very active. Looks like he could do it all day, though, doesn't right. he? I mean, yeah. even though, right, he was a little uptight early. That, that burns a lot of energy. But he has the look of a guy who has been in the Philadelphia gym for a decade and a guy who can do this all day long. Yeah, phenomenal shape. And I think he's, he's definitely gotten more into his groove. Still showing him a lot of respect, but being more effective with the jab. Early on, you, you said it. He was in there with Vaughn Jackson. The most important thing Vaughn Jackson said, right? The most elemental thing in the ring. Relax. Good jab there by Bailey. He's got to relax. When you relax, your shoulders drop. And you can fire off two, three jabs easily. When you're up tight, nothing is working. And you'll hear a guy in the dressing room after the fight. How many times have you seen it, Mario? He said, oh, you know, I just couldn't get off. I couldn't get off. Yeah, you were overwhelmed by the moment. It happens. Overwhelmed by the moment, and then sometimes it, it consumes you so much, you totally get off your game plan, and you start doing sloppy, stupid mistakes, and you're not yourself. That's a nice right hand by Mike Jones. Oh, he wobbled him. Good right hand by Jones, and Bailey is hurt. Now Bailey back in the corner. Good body work by Jones. Goes immediately to the body shots. Now he backs away. Nice work by Jones. Wish he would have kept him in the corner. I yeah. think he actually had Bailey hurt a little bit. Oh, there's no question. I don't, I mean, look, we can see it and smell it. He's, look, Bailey is hunched over now. Those body shots really hurt. He's been doing a good job of the combinations body punching. 
when he does have him hurt, but then he lets him off the hook. I'm right? very perplexed. He literally backed away from a man who was trapped in his own corner right. and, and damaged. Mm -hmm. And and doing the little shuffle step just made it look like, oh, I have to have that round in the bank. No, no, no. Don't put the round in the bank. Put the man away. Exactly. Mike Jones. Ooh, good jab. With the jab wow. This round. And I think he's learning a lot from this fight tonight, though, too. He's learning. This is one of those fights that he's a like, Bailey's like a gatekeeper. You got to get through to get to the next level. Right. And switching places with John David Jackson, a pep talk was needed. Wow. And, I, and I totally agree with him. He got me fired up. <laughs> he's got to put this guy away is what he's telling him. He's got to get mean and got to get nasty. And I thought that should have been Randall uh, Bailey's uh, out, just his approach from the outset to make it a bit of a dog fight. Because he's not as fast. Doesn't throw as many punches, but he does bring the power. Round 10 scheduled for 12. Last two rounds have been terrific for Mike Jones. Bailey getting beat down a little bit. He was hurt in that last round. Jones inexplicably danced away from him and let him out of the corner. But you could see even John David Jackson, his, his first second, his chief second, did pop his head in through the ropes and got to the point like, you know, saw a defeated Randall Bailey in front of him and said, do you want me to stop it? Now, no one wants in that corner wanted it to be stopped, but he had to put it that way to say, if you want this fight, this is it right now. See the record of the fighters when they go past 10 rounds. Bailey two and five, he gets into deep water. He doesn't do too well. That's against the top level of competition. That's a, those, these are the championship rounds now. Yeah, and, and maybe that's a conditioning thing. Maybe that's a heart thing. Whatever it is, it's not a good stat for, for Randall you. Bailey. And Mike Jones should use this opportunity to really not leave any controversy and try to close it out in a big way. And he's been very effective with those body punches and the combinations and with, with the jab, which has appeared about halfway through the fight. Three quarters. Came round yeah, eight. actually about three round quarters, eight. you're right. Ran round eight, we could go back and look. He tripled up on the jab, and it didn't look like much, but then after that, doubling up on the jab, landing constantly. And now Bailey just looks beaten down. Yeah. They yeah. might look back at the Bailey camp and say, wow, we had, it. we had our opportunity, and we didn't, as you mentioned, didn't put the foot on the accelerator when it was there. And a mouse building up on Bailey's left eye as a result of those jabs and those quick combinations. Randall Bailey now just throwing one, two punches, looking a little tired. Takes a body shot as well. Jones throwing in a vicious hook there. He's winding up now, trying to do it with one shot. He needs to look, I hate to play trainer here. He needs a jab, right? I mean, yeah, look, yeah. I mean, we're not, this is not a mystery. No, you're exactly right. He needs to jab and work his way in because when he's been able to do that, he's been able to work the body and hurt him, much like he did in the corner over here. Now we're starting to see a guy, and this is what I meant by in the pocket. When he's landing on the landing a jab, throwing a double jab, and then spinning off to his right, now he's in control. And now that's what you see. Beautiful combination. The damage, and now Bailey's head snaps back a bit, and he's hurt. It's an accumulation of punishment here by Jones, and Bailey is just getting beaten down. Oh! And that's what we were talking about, Brian. That at any time, power can put a guy down. Randall Bailey catching Mike Jones right on the button with the right hand, and that's what he needed to do. And he needs to throw that hand over and over again. Out of nowhere, the bazooka. And Locked and loaded, and he drops Mike Jones just as Jones looks like he is taking over for good. Exactly. Just as he looked like he was coming over the edge and about to put him away, and the nose of Mike Jones is bloated. Wow. All right, they're not gonna boo that. No. Look at this. <laughs> Here's a replay, big oh. right hand, and oh. it was like a cutting down a tree, and he oh. throws it so straight, so straight, right down the pipe. Here it is, boom, right on the button. It is a beautiful thing when Randall Bailey throws that smooth right hand with such force. And that's why, and this is, and this is in round 10, and that's why he was so reluctant to engage. So reluctant to engage, but I still believe and he started out with the jab and taking a little off that, maybe that would not, not have had as much effect on it. Now we're in business. Final two rounds. A knockdown in round 10 from Randall Bailey, just as his spirit was starting to ebb. Exactly he was going right. into a wane. He was asked by his trainer, John David Jackson, do you want to continue? Then you got to get after it. And they're late in the round, and what was a good round for Mike Jones, he unloads, unloads one of the best weapons in boxing. And the irony is he wasn't even busy in that round. He was right. actually really getting, and it came out of nowhere. 
Wow. Long and strong. Brian Kenny, Mario Lopez here in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand. We're just warming up. But now this fight, which was an interesting fight, has become a scintillating fight. Let's see what Jones has now responding, climbing off the deck. I like the way he responded, though. He did. He went flat on his back, Murray. I mean, that was not, there was no tripping, there was no controversy. That was a brutal knockdown. And Randall Bailey needs to continue to throw that right hand straight to the body, to the chest. There it continue is. Continue it to the, to the chin. He tried it there. He is trying to load up with a right hand. You wonder, too, there's a two-point round for Randall Bailey. How many of those early rounds? were put in the bank by Bailey. Could we have a close decision here? Yeah. Could, he, could he pull it out if he, not, say, knocks him down one more time? That's possible. You're right, because it's very interesting, because Jones was just, the no, no, momentum no, 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 stop, had shifted. He's gathering steam, and down he went. 11th round, IBF welterweight title at stake. It's vacant right now. Mike Jones was figured he would come in here in a beautiful combination by Jones, went body and then head. And that combination has been working effectively for him. A couple hooks to the body, followed by the head, and he gets out of the way. And if you're Jones, that is the exact spot that he is in right now where he got caught with the right hand. Do not back straight up. Do not think you are safe. You are not safe. Randall Bailey just proved that to you. You cannot relax. Oh, stiff back jab. Up. Oh, that's a gorgeous jab by Mike Jones as he starts to try to get back into a rhythm. And that's Mike Jones' best defense right now, is the jab. He needs to keep him busy, keep him off his rhythm. Don't let him set his feet. Faints, not a lot of faints from these guys. Now they were asking for that from, from Jones earlier in the fight. Vaughn Jackson wanted to see more faints, more jabs. He hasn't gotten a lot of that. He, he got, saw an escalation of work in round eight, where he was tremendous. Round nine, very good. Round 10, he looked fine, and then got dropped with one single right hand from the knockout king, Randall Bailey. Mike Jones, welcome to the big games. <laughs> oh, beautiful. And, and he is out, Brian. Oh. He is not going to come up from that. Oh, my gosh. Second. Tony Wayne says the count. He wiggles Six. around. Jones is trying to get no, up. No, he is That's out. it. And Randall that is Bailey. an upset of major proportions. Randall the... Bailey has taken this fight. He's taken it back, and he has knocked out Mike Jones. Major upset by the 37-year-old knockout king. Brian. That right hand with the uppercut may have broke his nose. He was in serious, serious damage. He plotted the whole night. He was calm, he was calculated, and he was effective with one punch knockout power, and the KO King is the KO King tonight. Wow, he dropped down, Jones bent down, kind of like Michael Spinks did, and ran into an uppercut from Mike Tyson. I mean, that uppercut had such force in it, and in the 11th round, Brian, that to have the power after taking such hard combinations from Jones, who seemed to have turned the corner, that is an impressive report. We have seen two impressive knockouts wow. on this card tonight. Whoa, sensational. Look at the blood coming out of Mike Jones's nose. He right now is just stunned, trying to figure out what just happened. He thought he had regained his senses. And then he bent down for one shot. I thought it actually went to the body shot, but he actually came down and then hit him straight to Uppercut the head. Oh, from Randall Bailey as he split as he split the jab, came up. There he is, splitting the jab, coming up with a hard uppercut right on the chin, which of course he said, and he looks like he got hit with the oh. bat. And I'm surprised he rose as quick as he did. He tried three separate times, Mario, to yes. get up. And each time, his head, it, looked, had, it had disconnected from his body. The black lights were on. Here's another look. That beautiful oh. uppercut from Randall Bailey. And that's a perfect example that looks incredibly deceiving. Randall Bailey's not exactly a, 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 a really buff, a muscular guy, if you will. Just a heavy-handed strong explosive puncher that's a perfect example of an explosive puncher look at randall bailey how emotional he is he cannot believe he's in this position now it looked like it was not going to be his wow. night by round nine it completely looked like this is not your night the young guy mike jones is about to take over on you well we were talking uh, a little off camera and we we were talking about how boxing the beautiful Thing about it is how the, the drama of it allows for ebbs and flows and he started off so strong and he looked he was fighting his fight and executing his game plan 
And Mike Jones came back and bam, changed just like that. Las Vegas, the end comes at 2-5-2 two, two of round number 11. The winner by knockout victory and now the new IBF hoverweight champion of the world, Randall, the knockout king, Bailey. Bailey can barely wow. put his hand up above his head because he is crying so hard right now, weeping with joy at becoming a world titleist. Overwhelmed with emotion. I gotta tell you, I am so happy for him because this is a guy who's paid his dues. He's fought the toughest guys out there. He stayed the course and he deserves his victory tonight. And he stopped a hot, hot fighter in Mike Jones. And Mike, this is gonna go a long way in Mike Jones' career and as far as a learning lesson. And I'll tell you what though, the irony is, not a lot of guys are gonna wanna face Randall Bailey, I'll tell you right now. I know, you know, Bailey has, uh, that marquee attraction now, he's known as a heavy hitter, he's respected throughout the sport. I mentioned whoever wins this fight will have a lot of leverage and a lot of say in taking on some of the biggest names in the sport. And now Bailey legitimately has one of these belts. I mean, he didn't go in and take it off somebody in a vacant shot against right. nobody. No, he fought a 26-0 guy, 29 years old, who everyone thought would come on here and just finish off the knockout king for good. And what was so impressive about it, too, is he did, it was so calculated, he stayed the course, he tried, he with the stiff jabs, he kept throwing sporadically the right hands. I still would have liked to have seen him be busier, but man, it was so effective and so impressive. Incredible turnabout, a knockdown in round 10 from a right hand, a knockout in round 11 with a right hand uppercut. Randall Bailey, 37 years old, a man with seven pro losses, has become a world champion right here at the MGM Garden. Fabulous. We're going to go into the ring here. We'll listen in. You're so emotional right now, you can't stand up or stop crying. Why are you so emotional at this moment? Hey, nobody knows what, what I go through outside of this ring to prepare myself to come and do what I got to do. You know? <laughs> A lot of people, including us at ringside, have various opinions about sanctioning body belts, but you just won one by dramatic knockout. What does it mean to you right now? <sighs> no, to take nothing away from Mike Jones. You know, I'm just in here giving it all I got. You know, he was a tough guy, man. You know, and I was just, I put it in God's hands and came out here and did what I had to do. But in the corner, your, your, your head trainer, John David Jackson, was getting so fed up that you wouldn't let the punches go that your cut man and assistant trainer, Chico Rivas, came, came in and started saying just whip his you-know-what. What did that do for you? You know, I love my team. You know, we like a family over here, you know, and, you know, hey, it was in God's hand. I just let, I just let the punches go. You can look up and see the knockdowns. Right there, right here, right here. Right there. Tell us what you see. Hey, that, that, that's my God's gift right there. You know, he gave me this. You know, my mom was a fighter, so, you know, this right here came natural. And here's the knockout. What were you thinking as you landed that punch? <laughs> Go down, Mike, please. <laughs> Why please? Because <laughs> he was a tough man. He was tough, man. He was a big dude, man. He was a big dude. <laughs> Congratulations, Randall.